What's well, so everybody? Welcome to Fix It Before Score. My name's Keith. I'm Rara. And today we're going to be fixing a puncture on a car tyre. So there's two ways to do this. First, you can jack up the car and take the wheel off, or you can just sort of back up, up or forward like we did there to find out where the, the issue is with the screw or nail. This one is a nail. So as you can see there, that's where the nail is inside of the tyre. So we'll remove that first. So using a pair of flat nose screw uh, pliers, Keith is going to grab hold of the foreign object. In this case, we have a nail. He's going to try and grab hold of those of the pliers and remove them from the tire. With the pliers or anything like that, just get in with the screwdriver first and get it out. Obviously, if you've got a, a screw in there, all you have to do is just unscrew it out. So I've got that out a little bit. And then there, get the pliers. And all the air is coming out now, so we're going to fix this up. So this is what we're using. This is a car tyre fix set. So there's a link in the description as well. You can find this on Amazon. In here, you get a variety of different things. You have this, so you can push it in. You have this, so you can make the hole bigger if it's a tiny little hole. And you also have these strips here. And these are what you use to plug the tyre. So first things first, we get this one. And where the hole is, just push that in the hole just to make it a bit bigger. Like so. You can hear there, there's more air coming out. That made it bigger. Then all we're gonna do is open this up. These are quite sticky, but they don't stick to your skin. So you're not gonna be left with marks all over you. So there, pull one of these off. Thread that through the little tool, just like so. It's gonna go in, there we go. You pull that so it's about halfway through, just like so. Then what you're gonna do, you're gonna get in and where that hole is, just gonna push that in. And that's in. And then what you need to do, give it a quick hard pull. So now we've got this plugged up, this is all the way in. And we have the, the sticky stuff inside. So now all we need to do is just give it a pull out. As you can see there, that's come off and the sticky stuff is still inside. You get this little knife, just like so. You just need to trim the excess off. Just get in and trim it off. There we go. And that's that tire plugged up. Then all you have to do is pump it up. So this is the tire inflator that we use. Again, links in the description on Amazon. So give that a search and get this. Just plug this in and then we'll show you what to do. So we have this here and we're just gonna connect it on, like so. Like you can see there, we're down to 11 PSI, 12 PSI. So we turn that on. So obviously when that's finished pumping up, all you have to do is just take it off and that's your tyre good to go. And then as you can see there, that's the tyre all patched up and there's no air coming out at all. So that's the car tyre done. Um, you've done it before as well, so how did you find it? Yeah, really easy, straightforward, just follow the instructions. Once you've done it once, you sort of get the gist of what you've got to do again. Just got to remember, have you spinach to pull that thing out at the very <laughs> end? And again, it's much easier taking the tyre off, but if you want to do it quickly or you're sort of stuck on the, the lay-by or something like that, then all you have to do is get someone to move the car forward or you move it forward slightly, find the issue and then sort it out from there. Yep. So that's how you repair a car tyre at home using one of these kits. As you can see here, the car tyre is all fixed, so you can do that as well. Um, one of the problems that sometimes you'll have is when you use this, put this in the tyre, um, pull it back out, and the sticky stuff is still stuck into it, all you have to do is just put it in again, try it again. If you still have an issue, use the other tool here, which is like a screwdriver, to so sort of uh, screw it in. That makes a hole a bit bigger and that'll adhesify easier with the sticky stuff. So yeah, 
if you have any other questions or comments about it so if you tried one of these before and got stuck then let me know and uh, until next time see ya